Hi, welcome to Knits Up. I'm Mindy, your hostess, otherwise known as Knitter CNY. You can find me on Ravelry and Instagram as Knitter CNY, and you can find a podcast group on Facebook. There's a page for that, the Knits Up podcast, and there's also a group over on Ravelry, um, and also there's a YouTube channel, obviously, since you're watching it on YouTube. If you're not a subscriber already, please, I don't know which side it'll be on, but it's down there. It says subscribe. Hit subscribe and also hit the bell. That'll get you notifications when I do post new videos. Um, I did pick a winner for the giveaway just straight out. I will tell you who that is at the end of the video. So, um, But I've also put it in the comments for the video. So if you commented on the video and you want to know who won, go look at the comments because I replied to the person. I am going to go through the projects that I've worked on this week. Um, there is one thing that's done, one, because this was the week I started all the projects. I finished a hat. This is some old Deborah Norville Serenity Serenity Chunky, Premier Yarn Serenity Chunky. And I have no idea what color that was. Um, it was your basic 56 stitch hat. I did some 2x2 two two ribbing and then I did a 7 point decrease because you can divide that. So when I got to the top I started with knit 6, knit 2 together. Um, that's what gave me the spiral. So that's done. I started a couple of things. Um, I can't remember whether I showed this on the last podcast or not. I started a corner to corner blanket and yes it is that searingly bright neon pink. The yarn is some Eco Brights, which is a recycled polyester yarn that Michaels had on clearance for 79 cents a ball. Now I know why it was 79 cents a ball. It splits like mad when you're trying to crochet. Um, if you've never done a corner to corner, it starts down here and goes up to here. You make a series of little triangle square things and then you go back across. The contrast yarn that I'm using is something that I bought from Joann's that's still available at Joann's that's much better than the Eco Brights. If you like the feel of the Eco Brights but you want something softer um, but that doesn't split like mad, Bundle Up is your thing. Bernat Bundle Up. This is 100% polyester too. Um, it comes in 4.9 ounces and 200 and... 67 yards, I believe, but this is available at Joann's. So I used it because they were the same kind of fiber and that's sort of a mint green. I wanted to have something not just searingly fuchsia pink, um, but that annoys me because it splits and the, uh, the Eco Bright splits. It's very difficult to work with. Not terribly, but I have 30 years of experience crocheting and knitting. You might not be so lucky. The other thing that I started yesterday, day before, maybe Friday night. Friday night. This is one of the things that I bought at the Lion Brand Outlet store. That says Go for Faux Duo. What this is, is... There's a go for faux, and then there's like the go for faux that's extra large. I forget exactly what they call it. But basically, it's three strands of go for faux twisted together. And so the go for faux duo is the bottom part of the yarn is the big go for faux. And then the top part is homespun, not homespun. Hometown. Hometown. So that's the hometown that you know and you love, but you get a furry bottom. 
and that will be the title of the episode, Furry Bottom. Um, this is really nice. It goes over my ears. This is supposed to be a slouchy hat. I'm using the, the Simple Knit Hat, I think is what it's called off of Lion Brand's website for this. There's only four patterns for this yarn, and the, a couple of them are crocheted, a couple of them are knit. This is the knit hat. So you can't miss it. So all I got left is this amount of hometown. At the end, you knit two together all the way around, and it's a slouchy hat. So that's going on size 13 needles. So not bad. The other thing I've got going are two pairs of socks. One pair is out of Lion Brand Manny Petty yarn that I have um, from when it was on sale at Joann's for $3.49 a ball. Um, so this color is called Mittens. Now it looks all orangey, doesn't it? This is what come, came out from the inside. Blues and purples. And then there's the orangey part. So you can see this is going to have a lovely color variation. You can just see the beginning of the red down here. So it kind of slips one color into another. Um, it's not barber pulled or anything like that. It's just kind of, I'd say, deeply, weirdly, speckledy. I don't know. And I'm using, I think these are Haya Haya needles. Um, 2.5 millimeters, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm using this Magic Loop. The other pair of socks that I started and then restarted, which is why all the yarn is wrapped around here, is a pair of Patents, sorry, Patents Croy. I always want to call it Patents. I don't know why. And this color is Rusty Stripes. Now there is a rust color in there, but there's a whole lot of other stripes too. And I started this toe up and got the entire toe done and then I realized I hadn't put any reinforcing yarn in and I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk not putting reinforcing yarn in. The increase that I did for this is knit one in the front, knit one in the back and I did those right next to each other and you can't see a blessed thing with this. Let's try it the other way. You can kind of see that increase. Ish. Not really. Not really. But trust me, it's going to be very striped. And I'm using Knitter's Pride Carbons Needles. Uh, 2.25 millimeter. They have a metal tip on there and then the this is carbon. The um, cord is not so fun to pull stitches over doing magic loop, but it's it's okay. It's what I had. I also ordered some Chowgu 2.5 millimeter double points and some and a 12 inch 2.5 millimeter Haya Haya 12 inch needle um, to because when I get to the leg of this sock, the patent, patent sock, I want to use 2.5 millimeters. And for the Manny Patty, I will switch down to a 2.25 millimeter for the foot because that one's cuffed down. The last thing that I started, and you're not going to believe this one, I started a Granny Square Afghan yesterday. And you say to yourself, why would you start another afghan? Well, because I can do pretty well with this thing. So, let me go with this way. I finished an entire skein of Bernat baby blanket. This is a granny square blanket. This is already pretty big, but I have three skeins of yarn. You can see the other one I started. Um, I think that's Easter egg. That's this color, Easter egg. 
And then I have for the border, um, border slash just going around, Baby Lilac, Baby Lilac, however you say that. So these are three different sort of skeins, um, but they all have that lavender lilac color in common. So they will all look like it was totally planned. This is like a dapple yarn. Um, and I'm going with it because when I can get a blanket done, probably in a week, and I've got blanket yarn here, and I've got blanket yarn up there too, kids. Um, there's a whole other shelf and a half of blanket yarn. So I've got two and a half shelves of blanket yarn. Um, and I may have given some to my friend. I gave her the peach colored yarn, and I may have gone out and bought some more peach colored yarn yesterday because I worked five hours of overtime and then Ollie's was less than two miles away from where I work. The hook I'm using is a size L and this is a prim ergonomic hook. I love these things. I don't get wrist pain. I don't get wrist strain. The way I hold my hook is like a knife. I do not hold it like a pen. For those of you who haven't crocheted before, and I'm not sure if the person who won is a crocheter or not, you can hold your crochet hook a couple of different ways. One is like a knife, like you were going to cut food with a knife, or you can hold it like a pen and do it this way. So like as if you were writing, um, you can hold it that way. I hold mine with a knife grip. One is not better than the other. Um, you can do whatever you want, whichever is more comfortable for you. And now, the big reveal. I believe her name is Afsana Akhtar. Afsana Akhtar. So if that is you, you have won. What did you win in case you forgot? You won a crochet hook by Hook Nook that's a size H. You won a Furls Camwood size H Streamline wooden hook. You won one skein of Moroccan Nights in Magic Carpet. There, you can finally see the orange in it. I'm so excited. And then you won two skeins of Low Tide in Sunset. There, you can finally see the orange. These do go together. <laughs> or they don't go together. <laughs> you can do whatever you want with it. It's your yarn. I um, might even have a box to put it in. Um, I may send it in one of those protected mailers just because those are a little easier for me to deal with and I don't have to tape things. But a box is doable um, since I already have the Amazon box and it's the right size and these are hooks. I may put it in an Amazon box. So that's it, folks. That's what I've been working on all week. You can see other videos where I've gotten mail. I may have ordered a couple other things. There may be some things coming. There's some sock yarn coming um, from two sources. And then there's also um, some just random yarn that I found this morning for like 10 bucks that I ordered. Um, and that's it. I'm not going to be buying any more yarn after this. Facebook Marketplace is very dangerous for me. I keep buying stuff and I don't need any more stuff. Or otherwise we're going to have to do more giveaways. Maybe we will do a giveaway in a few weeks or a month. I don't know. Um, if you joined, um, all of a sudden I have 133 subscribers. So apparently somebody got the news that I'm a podcast. A lot of people welcomed me for having 100 subscribers. Um, I've been doing this for a very, very long time. But I think the difference is that now I sort of have a space to do this. We talked about this. I relaunched the podcast with a new space where it's a dedicated space. There's yarn up here. You know what this is all about because you've seen the yarn. Um, I put a new skein up there, by the way. That's Big Cakes from... Uh, Karen, it's 
part of the Karen Collection Big Cakes. This was something Ollie's had on clearance a million years ago for $3.99. And this will be a blanket. Um, I think after the Bernat blanket stuff goes, this could be a blanket. I don't know whether I'm going to do corner to corner. This has uh, 300 grams and approximately 551 yards, and it's a four weight. Um, that would be actually really nice, too. Um, that would be really nice for a giveaway, too. Um, we'll get there. Um, we'll get there. But I like these multicolored yarns because they're super easy to work with um, for granny square blankets. That is it for the podcast. I will see you next week. Again, if you have just stumbled across this video, um, we did a giveaway. We picked a winner. Um, I do videos of crochet and knitting. I've been crocheting and knitting for over 30 years. I know I don't look that old. It's the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair, <laughs> which Ollie's had on sale this week for $14.99. There's your tip of the week. You can go to Ollie's and get yarn and get Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair. So you, I have I have set you free if you're an older person and you've got the wrinkles up here like I do. That's why I'm far away in sunlight because you can't see them. True tip. So anyways, have a great week. I hope that you are knitting or crocheting or weaving or spinning or buying yarn or reorganizing your stash or giving away your stash if it doesn't make you happy because you have to do the things that make you happy <laughs> and podcasting makes me happy because somebody gives me comments back or they you know thumbs up on a video something along those lines if you like the video put a thumbs up on it it makes more content come to you that's similar and I hope that you have a wonderful week I will see you back here probably either next week or in two weeks depends on how busy work is and what my recording schedule is if I don't have content to show you then I'm not going to show content um, if I do then I will record have a great week guys bye bye